You're watching one of Goalie's Goal Mind Lessons, where we teach kids health, hygiene, and even safety skills. Go to getgoalie.com to learn more. Oh, this is a good one. Hey, Tara, what kind of setup do you use for your streaming? Well, I'm glad you asked, Tech Savvy Gabby. I could talk about my computer setup all day. Well, I use this for my monitor, and this for my microphone, and this for my GPU. Aww, look at this message. You're my favorite streamer, Tara. I don't really have a question, I'm just not having the best of days, and it's nice to hang out and watch your stream. Oh no, I'm sorry you're having a bad day, Watermelon Collie. You can always talk to me about what's going on. Oh, another question. Would you rather own a duck-sized horse or a horse-sized duck? Well, that's a random thought, Random Scott. I might need to think about that one. They both sound pretty messy. Let me do some research. Hello, Tara. Oh, hey, Artie. For those of you who are new to my chat, that's my robot teacher, Artie. I built him using artificial intelligence. Have you come to join the stream for Free Chat Friday? I have not. My apologies for interrupting, but it appears you have an appointment on your calendar that is coming up soon. Wait, what time is it? 2.30, Tara. Oh no, my dentist appointment. I'm gonna be late, but I'm in the middle of so many good conversations. You do have quite a few chat windows up. I need to end the stream, Artie, but how do I wrap up all these conversations? Ending conversations is really hard sometimes. Perhaps I could be of some help. You're going to tell everyone I had to go so I don't have to do it? That is not what I was suggesting. You will still need to end your own conversations. I was proposing using this as a chance for a learning opportunity. I can help you by teaching you how to end a conversation. You sure I can't just play my intro on the screen and sneak out while it's playing to end these conversations? No one would even notice. I'm confident everyone would notice your absence after the intro, Tara. Are you sure? Tara, none of your conversations ended as you'd expected. Well, drats. You're right, Artie. Not only did they not work, but people are either confused or upset. Look at these comments. She never told us about her power supply. Oh, Tara disappearing is another bummer to my day, and she didn't even answer. Big duck or mini horse? Don't worry, guys. I'm here. Now, would you like for me to teach you about how to end a conversation? That would be great, Artie. I don't want to leave anyone feeling bad when our conversations need to end. Affirmative. There will be two primary lessons today. First, we start by recognizing when it's time to end a conversation. Like, if we forgot that we need to go to the dentist? Exactly. Or, recognizing that we're tired. Once we recognize it's time for the conversation to end, our second lesson is learning some polite ways to say goodbye. I take it playing your intro and sneaking out isn't on the list. Correct. Recognizing when to end a conversation is an important skill, Tara. It can depend on many factors like the other person's interest level, the importance of the topic, and your own needs. Well, I have three conversations going right now in my chat. How do I recognize when it's time to end these conversations? These are actually three good examples for us to use. Let's take Random Scott, for example. What is the conversation about? He's not slowing down at all on this duck-sized horse thing. And do you think that's an important topic to discuss right now? Not really. Seems like there are more pressing matters, like my other chats and my dentist appointment. And if that's something you recognize, Tara, 
then that is probably a good indicator that it is time to end the conversation. Knowing how important a conversation is will help you decide when to end it. But what about my conversation with Tech, tech Savvy Gabby? She was asking me about my streaming setup, which is obviously a super important topic. So that's going to be a tough convo to end. It may be an important topic to you, Tara, but is it an important topic to Gabby? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I think so. She's responding to everything I'm saying. Yes, but my analysis tells me her responses are lacking enthusiasm for the topic. Really? Huh. You might be right, Artie. Her last 10 responses have all been either, yep, cool, or that's crazy. Not exactly a high energy conversation for Gabby, is it? And that's okay, Tara. Everyone can get tired in a conversation, even if it's a topic they enjoy, so don't take offense. If you do notice someone's answers are getting shorter or giving you the same responses over and over, it's a good time to end the conversation. Okay, got it. But what about Watermelon Kali? We are having an important conversation about their bad day, but I need to go to my dentist appointment. I don't want them to feel abandoned during a tough time. Even important conversations need to end at some point, especially if we have other time-sensitive commitments. But there are ways to end the conversation that will show you care about the person. We'll learn more about that in our next lesson. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand when a conversation should end. Let's run a simulation to be sure. If you are talking with someone, how can you tell that a conversation may be coming to an end? Will there be lots of fun conversation with new topics? Or will you feel tired and repeat the same things over and over? Don't worry, this class is not over yet. The rest of it is available on Goalie, the best skill building tablet for kids. Your kids will earn points for every lesson they watch and even get to practice with pre-made routines. You know the deal, like and subscribe, and tell us what you want us to teach your kid next.